to navigate how you create extra storage, how you have bedside tables specifically, how you have any kind of surface area when you're just scrambling for space to just move, right? Sure. So the first project we're going to do is a hanging side table. If we had kept your bed going the same direction, I would have done this for you. Okay. You can see it by the chair, but I'm going to get you guys working yeah. on it right now. Rachel, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But this is a shellac. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> it's like saying, hey, loser, you can't do DIY. <laughs> she hates crafts. I know, but just you don't want to try and get better. Okay. I'm going to paint you. Yeah, don't use that brush because it will snag. Well, I failed <laughs> already. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> Gave us the right this is a shellac. You, you do it. All right, you get over here. You do it. Switch. Okay. I'll so just be over here. Get, get over here. I have a project for you. This is a shellac. You're going to shellac like this whole log. Cut. What it's doing is it's keeping it from splintering on your hands when you want to touch it as a surface oh, area. Oh, that's cool. That's a good tip. Right? And right. you're going to put in these hooks so you have something to do it. Don't feel left out. <laughs> and I'm going to show you. <laughs> What we're creating, when there is no floor space, use the verticality in your room. Use the Very hard. <laughs> That's why I gave it to you. <laughs> Whether it's a swing for your kid or it's a little corner where there's no space to put table legs, this is a really simple solution. If you put it in a beam in your room, it has enough support to act as a swing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for up to 500 pounds. So 500 that can be, pounds. It's good.